Hello folks, welcome inside the HRM 4 pad here in Bedford, Nova Scotia as we roll on for the Provincial Championships of Division 1 Boys Hockey here in Nova Scotia. Going on right now, the Riverview Ravens and the Halifax West Warriors, a game that, well, unfortunately doesn't mean anything for the Warriors right now, already eliminated from semifinal contention with two losses. They lost in overtime to Horton and that was a score of two to one and then last night, five one to CPA. On the other side, the Ravens already two and oh, three nothing shootout victory over CPA and a two nothing shutout win over Horton last night. So it does sort of mean something for them in terms of positioning. If they lose, they'll be scoreboard watching the final group B game. But if they win, it will guarantee them first spot in their group. My name's Troy Langstaff. Thanks for joining me here on the High Button Sports live stream. Ravens wearing their nifty white jerseys with lots of red stripes heading left to right. And on the other side, the Warriors wearing their black jerseys heading right to left. Worked out to the near side. Warriors looking to start a breakout. Carried up and hauled down in the neutral zone was Ben Barr. Now on the far side it goes for Adam McDonald. Played around in the near side corner. Big body check in the near side corner. We saw some physical stuff in the last game that saw the CEC Cougars take down the Dr. J.H. Gillis Royals seven to one. Game didn't mean either and anything for either of those two teams. That was the first victory for the, the Cougars. And the Royals finished 0-3 on the tournament. Played into the slot area and slowly rolls in on Spearns. Number 30, Mitchell Spearns getting the start. Whoa, whoa. Made 16 of 16 saves on 18 shots in the 2-1 overtime loss against Horton yesterday. On the other side for the Ravens, it's number 31, Ryan McDonald. Played very well in his one game last or yesterday. 33 saves on 35 shots in the shootout victory over the CPA Cheetahs. And to the far side it goes. There's Matthew Burke trying to work it down low. Near side corner it comes. Leahy, he'll spin off and head back to the slot. Carried around the circle more, firing a shot. Caught a stick and went into the glass in behind Spearns. Play gets puck it, goes around the boards. Lightfoot, immediate in the corner. There's more as well. Here's Leahy, top of the circle. High shot, falls behind him, a score. Might have got a piece of a different Ravens player as it crossed the line. It looks like Leahy's going to lead the line, so it'll be his goal, and the Ravens are on the board first. Just 146 into the game, and it's Seamus Leahy, his first of the tournament. And the Ravens out to a good start. It's one to nothing. Face off controlled here by the Warriors. To the near side it comes. Off the far board then dumped in. All the way around to the near side. All the way to the blue line it goes. Held in by Lorden. Played up the wall back to the point here. Kept in by the Warriors. A long shot by Alex Neves. Just sails wide. Rector goes into the middle now for Beaton. Beaton trying to work his way through a couple Warriors players, loses it. Back it goes for Tristan Bonnell. McKenzie now slides it across the line for Symes, who fires a shot. Knocked away by Spearns into the far corner. A couple players fall into the ice there. Warriors will come out with it. And it's Daniel Barr working his way across the line, still with it. Goes in between the legs, backhand pass into the middle, and that shot. Goes wide by Gavin Clark, already has a pair of goals. Well, both goals for the Warriors in the tournament. Like I said, lost 2-1 and 5-1, and it is Clark with both of them. Assist by Neves, Lorden, and Branton. And that pass just out of the reach of Luke Sampson, and it will be an icing charge against the Ravens here. 11.59 to go period number one.
face off one back to the point by the Warriors, sent in by Ford. Balcom with a nice pass in the middle. Sampson gets around bars. Sampson down the right side. Saucer pass across. Shot just goes wide up the stick of Seamus Leahy looking for his second of the game. Top of the circle, that shot gets deflected. And at the near side corner it goes. Arsenault with a good stick out front. Loose puck, another pass intended for Sampson. Knocked back to the point. That shot is stopped by Spearns. Ravens just pouring on the pressure right now. Again into the slot area. Arsenal has it going between his skates. Picked up by Balcom, whose shot goes off the stick of Dylan Edwards and up into the netting. Two more games to go after this one, one in each group. The CPA Cheetahs and the Horton Griffins. That is a huge game coming up. The winner of that one will advance to the semifinals on Monday, joining this Riverview Ravens team. And then the final game of the round robin will go at about 7 o'clock. will likely be 7.30 due to the delay we had. Broken glass during warm-up. Took some time to clean that up, but we are back underway here. But like I said, final game of the round robin, Lockby Dragons and Citadel Phoenix both 2-0. and We'll be battling for first spot in Group A. Geezer smacking that back in the zone. Held by Rector for a moment, but carried out by the Warriors at two on two for a moment. Geezer is back in a long shot by Delaney. Gloved down by Ryan McDonald. Ten forty-three to go. Shots three two in favor of the Ravens right now. Again, already punched their ticket to Monday's semifinals. Not exactly sure yet what times any of the advanced teams have will will play at, but those games are going at 9 o'clock on rank D and then 9.15, or sorry, 9 o'clock on rank C and 9.15 rank D. Two on one, the Ravens, that pass goes across and just off the backhand of Burke and into the corner. Trying to start the cycle, gets knocked down. Stanwick chasing after it on the far side. He'll get it, still with it. Now he'll make that pass across in for Burke was dropped but intercepted, kept in the zone, and Moore has it knocked off by Thomas McKeckern of the Warriors. That pass gets deflected, trying for the stretch pass up for Burke at the Warriors line. It was deflected and goes in as Spearns is out of his net to play the puck. Here's Leahy again, and a huge check below the goal line. It's going to be a penalty, and Open ice check, it's gonna be a head contact penalty. Matthew Burke, it looks like, will head to the box. A power play upcoming for the Warriors, and that Warriors player is slow to get up. Looks to be Andrew Lorden, who took a hard hit up high. It is Lorden who's back to his feet now, but Burke to the box for head contact. We'll see how long it is, whether it's a two or a four. It will be a four minute head contact penalty. So a four minute head contact penalty against Matthew Burke who's in the box. Warriors trying to get a late change in here. Will not be allowed. So 9.51 to go in the first period. Warriors looking to respond after an early goal by Seamus Leahy. Face off coming to the left of Ryan McDonald. One of the boards and back to the point it goes. Barr at the point, still holding. Lorden rather. Lorden gets it again, fires a one-timer shot. Didn't miss by much and at the glass behind McDonald. So good sight to see Lorden back out there. Not missing a single shift after taking that hard hit. He gets it back along the line. He'll dish it off, gets it back. He'll creep in, looking for a wrist shot. Trying to go just underneath the bar, but too high. Fogarty with it now. He'll dump that. And the Ravens will get a change in here on the back end. Spearns around the boards for Branton. Dropped off for Lorden. Lorden now still carrying it. Down the left side he goes. Tries to go across ice. Looked like it might have been intended for Clark in the slot area, but too hard of a pass in between his legs, and the Ravens are able to clear again. 8.50 to go, exactly one minute gone in the four minute head contact penalty to Burke. 
Arsenault and Rector both there to stop that up as Arsenault gets knocked down in the neutral zone. Lorden again with it has been out for the entirety of the power play so far in the shift beforehand. Lorden. Sharp angle shot goes off his stick and up into the netting. Brady McKenzie with a good defensive play. 2.33 to go in the power play. Face off coming to the right of McDonald. Ravens with a 3-2 shootout win and then a 2-0 win against Horton last night. Only allowed two goals so far through the tournament. That gets passed into the middle. Worked back to the point now. Wrist shot from the far side. Goes off the shin pads of Novak. There's Novak again. Spinning away in the corner is Daniel Barr. Feeds it back to the point and a good defensive play again by the Ravens. Able to get that out as Clark was awaiting the pass at the point but had it deflected away. Riverview again able to clear. Already halfway through the four minute head contact penalty to Burke. Made a huge check below the goal line on Andrew Lorden. Ben Barr, far side pass for Jack Hustons. Has it going underneath this stick banging away was Hustons out in front. Just put it wide, 129 left to go on the power plate. Clark spins and fires that in deep. Here's Hostins in the corner. He'll go cross ice. Branton with it, back to the point. Barr will go back to Branton too far, but gets there first in the corner. Will circle around the net. Still with it on the near side half wall. Goes back to the point for Barr. Barr fires the wrist shot and he scores. Tons of bodies out in front. And McDonald had no idea where that puck was. A power play goal for Ben Barr and we're tied at one. Just throwing pucks on net and Ben Barr with his first of the tournament. Innocent looking wrist shot, but again, McDonald did not see it even for a second as he went down on the butterfly. And it sailed over his shoulder into the top left corner. Gavin Clark and Nick Branton with the assists on the bar goal. Riverview forcing a turnover back to the point it goes and just about taken the other way by Edwards. Could have been a two on one break for the Warriors. That pass is intercepted, carried out by Halifax West and just narrowly avoiding a check was Daniel Barr by Leahy. That could have been dangerous. And it was Alex Neves rather with the nice move. Able to get around a man that had him lined up. Seamus Leahy. 6.21 to go, period number one. Shots are 4-3 in favor of Riverview right now, according to the scoreboard. Apologies for the delay. Nothing we could do actually during warm-up. The pucks were just, some of the players on the um, Warriors team were just saucering pucks up at the glass and caught it at a weird angle and shattered it. So had about a 20, 25 minute delay there, but it is replaced and we're back underway. We had a long delay yesterday due to some games running long, but the whole tournament was pushed back a day, so we've seen a lot of delays here over the course of the weekend. And hopefully it doesn't affect the games tomorrow. Those semifinal games going at 9 and 9.15 on ranks C and D, respectively. And the finals at 1.45 here at rank D. Lockview and Citadel from Group A are moving on to the semis. And then here in Pool B, just Riverview so far, but CP, CPA and Horton will play each other following the conclusion of this game. And that will be a battle for a second spot in the group in the final berth in the semifinal. A good pass by Balcom up to Sampson, trying to work his way around Ford as he gets pinned up against the boards. Or 
paced it up against the glass. A big hit in the corner. Here come the Warriors out the other way. It's a three on two. Daniel Barr has it knocked off of his stick by Daniel Symes. And pushing and shoving it to the right of the Ravens bench. That puck gets knocked off the stick of Symes. Collision in the neutral zone. Sampson and Barr. Daniel Barr trying to scoop that out of the pile and carry it in, but we still continue to battle for the puck in the neutral zone. A couple late whacks there as we get some line changes in by both teams. 1-1 here with 4.48 to go in the first period. Far boards now. Out in front, that goes right past the stick of Novak, who was open in the crease for a brief moment. Cycled in the corner, trying to kick it up to his stick is Geezer. Around the boards and unable to hold the line is Matthew LeBlanc. LeBlanc will head all the way back into his own end as the Warriors make a couple changes. Stretch pass up to the far blue line, but that gets past Novak and Geezer. Icing's waved off. Spearns will stop it behind his own, behind his own net. Far blue line now. Carried in, Ravens with it. Out front, backhand shot stopped. Rector with a nice move to get out in front, but Spearns tall to the task. Faceoff controlled by the Warriors, sent around on the near side. Thomas Hart to meet it on the half wall. Collected by Burke, he spins and fires a high wrister. Knocks it down, but the Warriors will come away with it. Chipped into the middle and collected by Hart. He tries to get a shot off, but goes right in the legs of Fogarty, who takes a bump from Hart in the corner. Battle for it on the near side. Half wall comes into the neutral zone. Now here's Jake Warner. Jake Warner trying to go across, smacked out by Delaney. Collected again by the Ravens. Off the boards, tipped in by Burke. Spearns again out of his net. He'll let that go by him. Lightfoot plays it up the wall, flicked past the line, swiped at by Warner. It's lucky it didn't connect with it more or send it the length of the ice, otherwise it would have been an icing. Three minutes to go in the first period now. Feels like it's been a while since we had our last whistle. Cross ice pass right on the tape of Burke. Tries to do a toe drag around his man who loses his stick. That's Andrew Lorden. Thrown in the far side corner. Meeting it is Rector. Brennan Moore trying to go behind his own back into him but collected by Halifax West. Down the left side is Daniel Barr. Knocked away back to the point. Barr with a shot. Or excuse me, Lorden with a shot. It was deflected just in front of McDonald, but not enough time to get it over the pad. Glove down just inside the line. Barr loses a handle on it and will regroup in the neutral zone. Far side line, and that's fired into the Ravens bench off the stick of Alex Neves. Faceoff will come all the way outside the west zone. Flicked up inside the Ravens line. Long shot blockered away. A good little rip there by Dylan Edwards. Rector has it knocked off of his stick by Lorden. Across the line come the Warriors again. Edwards just narrowly avoiding. A check there. Neutral zone with it now, or the Warriors swiping at it a couple times as Neves. Puck still rolling on, on its side, passed over for Edwards. Goes outside, inside, back to the outside, takes a shot, and that's caught and settled down by McDonald for another whistle. A 
Little bit of extracurriculars, the first bit of this we've seen so far with just a minute 27 to go in the first period. Shot 7-6, Riverview, 1-1 is the score on goals by Seamus Leahy, a minute 46 into the game, and then a power play goal by Ben Barr. Tied things back up at one. Well, tied things at one. Face off to the right of McDonald. Collected by the Warriors, but that pass out of the reach of Ben Barr, who was creeping further to the inside. And Fogarty trying to lay the body on Hart. But just missed him. We see a couple checks whiffed on early in this first period. Cross ice by Fogarty. It goes up the wall. Icing waved off. Saying it caught a piece of Arsenal. Intercepted near side, centering pass, just whipped on by Sampson. Thrown in the corner, will ring all the way around the boards to the near side. Sampson will get the first touch on it, and he'll start the cycle back down low for Balcom. Royce Balcom still with it, spinning away from a couple players, trying to feed that in front off the side of the net, it goes. Pinching in was Fogarty, so Balcom's able to throw that high off the glass in behind. Spearns, another check was lined up and whiffed on on the far side. Some more pushing and shoving in front of the Warriors bench as those two players will separate. 15 seconds left to go in the first period. Cross ice pass by Bars off the mark. Now settled down and poked forward by Barr. Fogarty back to get it. A little bit of space now. Didn't want to go up the wall so it was a cross ice. And 15 minutes will run out here on period number one at the HRM four pad rink D. The provincial championship for Nova Scotia boys hockey. Round robin play here. This third last game of the round robin between the Riverview Ravens and the Halifax West Warriors. 1-1 one, one is the score. We'll be back in about a minute or so for period two action. Back from that short little break, we're underway in the second 15 minute period here between the Ravens and the Warriors. Again, the Ravens already punched their ticket to the semifinals, but just looking to lock up that first seed. The Warriors have already been eliminated with two losses on the first day. I have only one point up until now. It was a overtime loss against Horton and for Horton, that was their only two points of day number one. So those two at the bottom of Group B right now, but Horton still with a chance playing against C.P. Allen after this game, actually. And if you're wondering, because West, if they're able to get a regulation win that would tie them with C.P. Allen, they'd still lose that because then you'd be wanting both Allen and Horton to lose that game and obviously that won't will happen and we have a goal here. A speedy Daniel Barr gets in all alone and goes to the forehand past the outstretched leg of McDonald and the Warriors have their first lead of the game. Two one Warriors on the goal by Daniel Barr. 57 seconds into the second period. Thomas McEachern with the lone assist. 
Riverview looking to start the breakout. And that'll go over the stick of Burke and will be an icing against the Ravens. So I was just explaining that Halifax West already eliminated from making it to the semifinals. But first off, we'll have a two-on-one rush for the Ravens. Moore looking to go into the middle for Burke, who couldn't get the shot off immediately. Does get one to go. But by that time, Spearns has already made his way over there. Zach comes to the line and clears the zone and chipped around. But LeBlanc will get there first as he was being chased by Edwards. Hustins takes a bump in the neutral zone as it's thrown back into the corner to the left of McDonald. He'll have it go behind him a couple times and now up to the point, just thrown back in on the backhand by Neves. Pass a little bit behind Ford. Comes back out for Neves. He'll flick it to the far side as the Warriors were making a change. And already over there is Delaney who Lays the body on his man. 12.42 to go in the second period. 2-1 Warriors. The most recent goal off the stick of Daniel Barr. Speeding in, beating the defenseman of the puck. And going back in forehand on McDonald. Out the other way come the Ravens. Pass for Beaton. He has Lee with him. It gets into the middle for him, but he falls to the ice in the slot area. That cross ice pass is intercepted by Lorden. It goes to the far side, Fogarty back the other way. Ravens making a single change. Up the boards it goes for Bunnell. Now with two on one looking here for Riverview. Far side high shot goes off the, right off the mask of Ryan McDonald, excuse me, Mitchell Spearns, who has it drop right in front of him and holds on for a whistle. What a high shot there into the mask as he takes it off and gathers his breath. Mitchell Spearns there checking his mask to see if everything's okay. Maybe a loose strap potentially or he throws it back on. Everything looks to be okay. As his team leads two to one right now. Spearns has made nine saves on 10 shots. Slap shot from the point just goes wide. That's thrown towards the goal. It was a knuckle puck by Stanwick. Again, throwing it towards goal. Rebound was there, but knocked wide. Here come the Warriors down the near side. It's Daniel Barr looking for his second of the night, trying to get around his man. Beats Stanwick to the puck in the corner. Barr still with it. He'll go off the boards, back to the point. Slap shot taken, looking for a deflection in front, but right into the gut of McDonald. And there's Jamison Ford who sent it on goal from just inside the Ravens' blue line. Eleven and a half to go and a wonderful stop there by McDonald flashing the leather. Just outside of his crease. We'll try this again. Face off coming to the left of him. The West Bench getting their sticks into it, making some noise. We're going to pick up a win before the end of the round robin. The final opportunity to do so this tournament is down the far side. Starting a rush was McKenzie. Lost the puck just inside the line, but the Ravens stay with it. A check on the far side corner. Arsenault takes a bump from. Ben Barr back to the point. Quick snapshot. Into the corner it goes back to the point for Symes. He'll go back down low. Leahy will continue the cycle. Once again sent down low by Balcom. Thrown around the boards. Symes there to meet it in the corner as he's off the blue line getting supported. And now a penalty up coming against the Warriors in the slot area. Balcom was knocked down, but it will. McDonald now being waved to the bench. Wasn't aware that there was a penalty upcoming against the Warriors. And interference is going to be the call as 
One of the Ravens players was knocked down by Ben Barr in the slot area, just trying to gain some positioning in front of Spearns. So power play upcoming for the Ravens, looking to tie things up at two apiece. Shots are all square, 11 for each team, 10.32 to go in period number two. Pass one straight back, but splits the D-men. That was McKenzie and Novak. So bar for interference about four and a half minutes in, 4.28 to be exact. Daniel Barr trying to work with the puck and it's sent back to the point, but no one's there. Now collected by Branton, who's cutting his way to the middle. That shot just sails high, Lord, and trying to knock it down. That's cycled, but picked off by the Warriors who have two men in deep and now will be worked basically back to the blue line before being thrown back in by Branton. Branton and Lorden doing a good job killing off some PK time. Here's McKenzie, a little bit of space in front of him. He'll take it, trying to split the D. The puck gets there, but he cannot meet it. And now taking a spill was Spearns. Might have been potentially a tripping and cut the stick on someone, or maybe he took a body down himself, but now a penalty upcoming against the Ravens. Going to be a hooking call just at their own blue line, and that's going to do it for the power play. Novak to the box for interference. 5.27 into period number two. So we'll have some four on four hockey for a minute and one second. And then we'll be some power play time for the Warriors. And 2-1 is the score in favor of Halifax West. Looking to pick up their first win of the tournament. Scramble draw, one below the goal line. Here's LeBlanc with it. And we'll go back for Stanwick. Burke with it. Cross ice pa pass as Burke keeps his leg on side. Into the middle, it goes for him to the back end. Little bit of room here. Her follower shot off the side of the net. And the Riverview crowd thought it went in, but off the side of the goal it goes. 9.05 to go in the period. 30 more seconds of four on four hockey. That puck gets knocked away a little bit behind Geezer. Goes the pass. Neves on the near side will work it back to Lorden. Lorden will take the space he's given. Fire a shot from the far side. Block it away by McDonald. Played up the wall. Thrown back in deep near side. It comes for Stanwick. Will elect to play it back. And off the boards in behind McDonald. A pass is chipped ahead, now worked up by LeBlanc. Was a little bit too far for him, but got a good bounce and able to get a good shot off from the far side. Here come the Warriors the other way. Now a power play for the Halifax West Warriors as it comes back to the point. Shot taken, that caught a skate and didn't miss by much. Back in front it goes, a snapshot taken by Clark. Is stopped by McDonald. Puck kept in, that errant shot goes back and now Maybe a rush here for Riverview, but an excellent stick by Neves. 15 seconds of power play time for the Warriors. They'll regroup inside their own zone. That shot goes into a body by Clark. And we're back to five on five. So neither team able to capitalize on their short power plays or on four on four. So 2-1 stays the score in favor of the Warriors. Their goals by the Barr brothers. Power play goal for Ben and then Daniel Speedy. Little partial break turned into a breakaway. Just 57 seconds into the period. As they hold their first lead of the game. Here's Moore chipping into the far corner. Lightfoot and we'll send it around for Daniel Barr. He'll flick that in the neutral zone and, and right on the tape of Dylan Edwards who tries to get around Stanwick. Which makes a nice defensive play. Fogarty being held up and now a penalty will come against the Warriors. 
Going to be a hooking call. It was pretty clear as I believe it was Fogarty heading down the far side. Got a little hook and penalty upcoming against the Warriors. The 6.46 to go heading to the box. It's going to be number 21, Nick Branton. So a power play for the Ravens, looking to even things up at two. McKenzie, back to the line, high shot taken. Snatched of the air by Spearns. Sent in on goal by Josh Novak, looking for his first goal of the tournament. Has a couple assists. Four goals scored coming into the game for Riverview and a two by Rector, two by Geezer, and then the one today off the stick of Seamus Leahy, just a minute 46 into the game. Battle for it in the far corner. Trying to poke it up as Barr comes loose in the slot. Now a chance here for the Ravens, trying to go five hole and they score, falling to the ground. The aforementioned gone, Rector is third of the tournament, a power play goal, and we are tied at two. And an excellent play, getting that down low, able to get the, the puck to the forehand and slide it five hole in on Spearns. So Rector, power play goal, third of the tournament. Evens things up at two with just six and a quarter left to go in the second period. Troy nice up with you here on the High Button Sports live stream coverage of the Provincial Championship Division I Nova Scotia Boys Hockey. Royce Baltham and Dylan Arsenal with the assists on the Rector goal. Warriors looking to start up a rush, cutting through the middle as Edwards, who fires a long shot, was in between the legs of the goalie. And spinning around was McDonald, and luckily kicked it away with the left leg as he spun. And lost it for a second, and that was just about how the Ravens scored, scored their first goal as Leahy fired a high shot. It went up high on Spearns. Now a shot in the slot, rebounds loose, another whack at it in between the legs of Spearns this time as he closes the legs tight. Just going back and forth, some good action here between the Warriors and the Ravens. But as I was saying, Leahy's goal to open up the game was a high shot on Spearns and it bounced off his shoulder, landed behind him and trickled across the line and just about saw the same thing, but almost in favor of the Warriors. So five and a half to go in the second period. Nodded at two. And we'll try this face off again. Jake Warner will be tossed into the draw. Coming in to take it now is Thomas Hart. One by the Ravens to the far boards. Down low it goes. There is Warner. Playing it up the wall a little, but the Ravens will take over through the slot area. It goes, Geezer has it bounce off his stick. or escape and below the goal line. Warner off the glass and into the neutral zone. A rolling puck gets across the Ravens line. Back the other way goes Symes. McKenzie off the near side. Geezer getting a piece of it. Geezer will intercept that pass and throw it in on goal. It was the delayed offside by the Ravens. And Spearns will play it. No one even inside the blue line for Riverview as, of course, they had to touch up on that delayed offside. Slap shot from the far boards. It goes wide. Symes pinching in. We'll get it right back in the corner, trying to feed it out front. Ravens with it. Far side it goes. Sharp angle shot snatched out of the air. Puck is still loose. Through the slot area it goes. Riverview still with it as it's sent into the corner by Geezer. There is Symes, makes a nice move initially, gets tripped up and a power play up coming for Riverview. That is clear as day as Bronson Lightfoot will head to the box for two or less.
4.15 to go in the second period. Got ourselves an excellent game going on right now. Not meaning much for the Warriors, of course, but looking to pick up the first victory of the tournament and Riverview looking to lock up the first seed here in Group B. So looking to get back on top, had the one nothing lead before the Warriors responded with two of their own and then most recently tied up by Dehan Rector. That gets played through the slot. McKenzie, far side he goes, four minutes left to go in the period, a low shot. Just missed wide off the stick of Novak. He'll get it back, a little bit more space, a lot more space, that shot again goes wide. Here's Daniel Barr, we saw his speed on his goal earlier in the game, can't cut through three Ravens players, but a nice move by Branton here as he gets taken down, and again that'll do it for the Ravens power play, a tripping penalty, that one also clear as day. As Arsenault will head to the box. So 3.38 to go in the period. We'll have a, just under a minute and a half of four on four hockey before a short power play for the Warriors. Face off one cleanly back to the point. Sent into the slot area. A little bit of room there is Clark, he comes back to the point. Lorden trying to get around his man. That was Moore creeping in at the point. Riverview with it. Stanwick gets pushed up against the board. So he'll come out with the puck and now a three on two the other way for the Ravens. Stanwick across the line. There's awfully close dicing there, but play continues through the crease. It goes in, unable to connect. It was Brennan Moore and here come the Warriors the other way. Saucer pass across way too high there for Hustins. Moore able to get around his man, creeping in low. Spearns out of the net to play. It has to be careful. Whiffs on it. Played in front, no one home for Riverview. Another 35 seconds of four on four. Clark with it. Far side he goes for Lorden. Works his way into the corner. Tries to make a pass in the middle but off the skates of Stanwick. Collected again by Clark, and now a stretch pass up for Leahy. He's in on a breakaway four on four, takes a shot, rings it off the outside of the right post. Comes all the way around the boards, a little bit too far for Lorden, and Leahy could have picked up that pass, but was awfully close to being offside, so he let it go, but Leahy in all alone was looking for his second of the game, and Iron not his friend this time. Rector gets around one man and offside is the call again that was awfully close as Matthew Burke is saying that he was trailing his leg but won't get the call this time as we will now have some Warriors power play five on four for 29 seconds or less 207 to go in the second period all knotted up at two Riverview looking to lock up first place. Warriors just looking to salvage a win out of the round robin here. Barr will fling it around the boards. Rector will collect it here for the Ravens at center and just flicks it back in. So it doesn't look like anything's gonna come of this power play for the Warriors. It was also short and that's gonna be an icing charged against them. Daniel, or Ben Barr rather trying to go up the boards. They didn't catch a piece of anyone. The game following this is going to be the CPA Cheetahs against the Horton Griffins, and that one will be to clinch the final semifinal spot, I guess, regardless of how Riverview does. Could determine first or second, but it will be decided before puck drop. Anyways, that's a high shot in the slot area. Just goes over the boards as we are even back to five-on-five five hockey. But just to clean up what I was saying, the next game against CPA and Horton will determine who moves to the semifinals. You win and you're in. Simple as that. Another penalty upcoming against the Warriors that's played in the slot. A weak rolling shot. That's a high hit on Barr and now the puck is touched up and we'll have another power play. The more pushing and shoving just outside the Spearn's crease. So we'll see who the penalty is going to be given to with just 1.14 left to go in the second period.
being guided towards the penalty box here is Dylan Edwards, it looks like. So Spearns will, excuse me, Edwards will head to the penalty box and it looks like Daniel Barr is the one being penalized, so. Bono heading to the box as well. No, nope, now he's gonna head back to the benches here. Referee's still trying to get figured out what's going on here. There's a player from each team in the box. So it will just be five on five, some coincidental penalties. With 1.13 to go in the second period. Arsenault into the corner. Played up the wall and deflected out of the zone by Hustons as Stanwick heads back. Into the final minute of play here in period number two. On rink D at the HRM4 pad in Bedford. Boys Provincial Championship for high school hockey in Nova Scotia. McKenzie working his way through the neutral zone. Down the left side, he goes, sharp angle shot. Big rebound comes out, another shot taken, but the net comes off as Spearns headed to the near side post, knocked it off a little bit so that second shot wouldn't have counted had it gone in. 34.4 to go. Face-off controlled by the Warriors as it's sent around. Kept in the zone for a moment. Now flicked out to the near side comes Stanwick. Aiden Stanwick will spin around, holding the line of the Warriors. Long shot taken, goes off the stick of Stanwick. Warner hopping on that one just in time to keep it in the zone. Stretching the leg as Balcom into the corner. Arsenal feeding that out in front. Puck hopping around, poked away. And now here comes Warner the other way. Gets caught up by Bono, and that will do it for period number two. All knotted up after 30 minutes of play here on rink D. 2-2 is the score. Goals for the Ravens off the sticks of Seamus Leahy and Gahan Rector. For the Warriors, it's the Barr brothers, each with one. So 2-2 is the score into the second intermission. We'll be back in about 15 for third period action between the Riverview Ravens and the Halifax West Warriors.
All right, folks, welcome back inside the HRM4 pod here in Bedford, Nova Scotia. Troy Langstaff here with you on the High Button Sports live stream of the Provincial Championship here for boys high school hockey. Nova Scotia, the Riverview Ravens and the Halifax West Warriors tied at two goals apiece here entering the final period of play. Shots are 24 to 13 in favor of the home side. The Riverview. Goals by the Ravens, Seamus Leahy and Gahan Rector. Leahy's was a minute 46 into the game and Rector's was the most recent goal of the game actually on the power play, even things up at two. And for the Warriors, it's Daniel Barr and Ben Barr. Face off coming to the left, uh, Brian McDonald. Off the draw, gets chipped out by Novak. Thrown right back in by Edwards. Goes off the boards, just about intercepted by Branton. Continue the round, but that is intercepted by Edwards, thrown out in front. Good defensive stick by Riverview right after giving it up. Near side it comes. Off the glass and a jumping Lorden, able to knock that down and back the other way come the Warriors. Top of the circle shot right into the gut. Of McDonald off the stick of Dylan Edwards. So again, Riverview has already advanced to the semifinals. It's just a matter of if they're able to pick up another couple points to lock in first. Three points would do it. Actually, any a win in any fashion here for Riverview would lock up first because they have the head-to-head -head win against CPA. 3-2 in a shootout yesterday. That was the third game of the day. For the Warriors, looking to pick up a win here as they're hosting the tournament. Their two losses against Horton, 2-1 in overtime, and then... The second one, a 5-1 loss to the CPA Cheetahs. To the side of the net, comes right out in front for a moment, but cleared away by the Warriors. A minute and a half into the final frame as it's thrown in by number seven, Carter McDonald went up the official and slowed up as McDonald carries it down below the goal line, trying to lay a couple body checks, but that goes off the near side boards and will be an icing charged here against the Warriors as Ben Barr threw it down. So both teams will get a couple changes in. <laughs> Next game after this one, CPA versus Horton. And what should be a good one, I said win and you're in for either team, but that's not the case. I looked at the standings and because of the way it is with three points for a regulation, regulation win, two points for a shootout win, overtime win, et cetera, go down the line, you know how it works, but CPA can advance with a single point. So any type of win or a loss in extra time will do it. That gets in behind Spears and they score. That's exactly how the first goal of the game went in. It caught Spears up high, landed behind him and crossed the line. I don't know if it was a shot from the point. It actually looked like it will be. Looks like it will be Aiden Stanwick leading the line. Two oh eight into the period, and the Ravens with the lead. So I'll get. I've tried to talk about this point a couple times. Was wrong, wrong the first few times, and then interrupted just by the goal. But I'll make it simple. Next game, CPA advances with a point. Horton needs a regulation win, but I'll talk more about that when we get there later. As Icing waved off here against the Warriors, who are again down by a goal. Novak chasing after Lorden. And play will be blown dead at the west line for offside against Riverview. Branton and Novak at the faceoff dot, dot. Novak wins it back. Symes will chase back for it. 
Cross ice it comes. Too far, though, for Geezer. Back the other way. Now carrying it through here is McKenzie across the line. He has some bodies with him. McKenzie with the shot. And the pad stop by Spears, who jumps on the rebound as there were two Ravens players creeping in with speed. Twelve oh seven to go in the third period. Ravens with a 3-2 lead. Goals by Leahy, Rector, and Stanwick. And for the Warriors, it's Ben and Daniel Barr. Sent around. Here's Thomas Hart with it. He'll take a second or two. Tried to feed it in the middle, but was blocked by Sampson. McKenzie with it. Nice saucer pass to the far side for Symes, who has a little bit of room. Slow pass. Balcom trying to keep it in to lay it offside, and Ravens do actually catch a piece of it, so play will be blown dead for another, blown down for another offside against Riverview. With 11.44 to go. Game was delayed by about 20 to 30 minutes. We had the glass break during, the glass shatter just down below us here during warm up. Uh, the players were just kind of chucking the pucks up against the glass. And, you know, just an innocent looking dish into the, into the glass shattered it. So we had a little bit of delay, but back in the action, Leahy down the right side, trying to go far side. Blocker stopped by Spears. Kept in the zone for a moment here by Riverview. Thrown back in and again offside as Ravens player, that was McDonald, put it into his own man, Moore, on the far side. Jumping up on the loose puck is McDonald. Pass attempt in the middle was intended for Novak. Went off of a skate, now carried out by Dylan Edwards down the right side. A one on three, he'll keep going to the outside. Backhand shot goes a little bit too high. Really had to put it up there if you wanted to get it over the shoulder and underneath the bar on McDonald. LeBlanc now. Far side pass right on the stick of Novak, who's cutting in the middle, catches a piece of the defender, banging away at it, and a couple of nice stops there by Spearns. Didn't know where it was for a second, had the leg at the post and made two saves there on the far side. As that gets sent in on goal, it was deflected right before it got to Spearns, it looked like, but went wide. Slap shot from the point right into his gut. Big rebound out by Spearns as he dives to the near side post. Ravens still with offensive zone pressure. Goes behind, here's LeBlanc now. We'll feed that into the corner. And play will be blown dead. Looks like the net is off in behind Mitchell Spearns. Ten ten to go in the third period. Riverview with the three two lead. Shots are now thirty four fifteen, according to the scoreboard up here, in favor of those same Ravens. So face off now to the left of Spearns. The Ravens have been all over the Warriors here in this third period. Able to get one on the board. A slap shot by Fogarty from the point is knocked away. Below the goal line, sauced out in front was intended for Fogarty all the way back at the top of the circle here, but obviously didn't get to him. That's intercepted here. Barr on the far side, trying to work his way through. Puck gets in after him, but he had control, so play continues. Shot taken, that goes over the head of McDonald by Gavin Clark. Warriors battling for an equalizer here as that gets poked back into the neutral zone. Here's Andrew Lorden, being watched by Balcom. Passed up for Barr. Lorden again makes one nice move. Gets in the offensive zone. He'll stop up and just backhand it in deep. Here's Stanwick with our latest goal. Currently standing as a GWG. That's intercepted. Here's Lorden. Warriors have numbers in the slot. Shot taken. They score. Tie game. 
Jake Warner, it's 3-3 with 8.59 to go. An excellent rip by Jake Warner, our sixth goal of the game. We've been going back and forth. It's been excellent so far. And just firing that one over the pad, underneath the arm of Ryan McDonald. So Jake Warner with an excellent shot, tied at three. Andrew Lorden with the lone assist. 8.59 left to go in the period is when he scored it. 8.30 left to go now. Worked into the corner. Up below the goal line, here's Bonnell. Out. It was Leahy with the shot. Might have caught a piece of something. It was a bit of a flutter puck in on Spear into. Calmly gloves that down for a whistle with 8.21 to go. The remaining games on the day, again, CPA taking on Horton after this. It was scheduled to start at 5.15, but I uh, just looked down at the clock. It is already quarter after five, so obviously we'll be about 20 to 30 minutes behind schedule. We'll have eight and a half minutes left to go in this one, then a seven-minute warm-up, then about a you know, eight to 10 minute flood and then we'll get going. So just quickly adding that up. It's about 25 minutes right there before we get going in the next game. Final game of the day, it will be at about 7.30's time. Prime time for Lockview and Citadel as the Ravens are trying to bang home another one here and retake that lead. Shots 36-17 in favor of them right now. Hit in the corner by Lord in on his man. Back to the point it goes. Kept in for a moment by McKenzie. Back out in front, it goes on the backhand. His geezer. He takes a check in the corner, sent in on goal. Bouncing puck at the crease, cleared away again. Wound up, another slap shot taken. That goes off a of body and wide off the stick of Daniel Symes. Warriors just trying to clear the zone here and they finally get it out, but thrown right back in by the Ravens. They'll get a couple changes in here, will the Warriors. To the far boards it goes, to the far line. Daniel Barr to the near side of the reach of Hustons, thrown back up the wall by LeBlanc. Here's Novak down the right side. In the middle, one-timer shot by Geezer goes just wide. Arsenault trying to work that in deep, and here come Halifax West the other way, a three on two. Lorden down low, dropping it in the slot area, swiping away at it is Barr. Can't connect, or can't get it through. There he is, he goes to the far side. Lorden in the middle, looking for a one-touch pass for Clark, who was alone in the slot. That attempted chip off the glass, caught a piece of the linesman. So stop that rush that looked like it might have been cooking up there for Riverview. Barr trying to work around his man and the Ravens get it the other way. Here's Balcom, a bit of room in front of him, has Sampson. Balcom, nice toe drag to the backhand, loose. Can't get a good shot off. LeBlanc fires that on goal. Deflection just missed, it's slap shot from the far side. Comes back out in front and cleared by the Warriors. Man, Ryan McDonald has faced tons of shots here today. 39 to be exact, has made 36 saves, keeping his team in this. Made some sharp stops. That goes off the glass up for Sampson, who's trying to get around Thomas Hart. Here's LeBlanc in the middle. We'll just dump it in on the backhand before peeling off on a change. 5.40 to go in the third period. 3-3 is the score. Into the middle, that shot ripped just wide by Burke. Down low the puck goes. Burke will race after it as Hustins plays it up the wall. Glove down in the corner. Fed back out in front, a high backhand pass by Fogarty to the line. Wrist shot in, and Spearns with another stop off the stick of Aiden Stanwick, who retook the lead for the Ravens 3-2 earlier in this third period before Jake Warner had a nice rip of his own from in the slot area, ripping it by Ryan McDonald. Sure, some might have expected a game that was going to be a bit more lopsided than this. 
just with, due to the fact that the Ravens earned two hard-fought victories and the Warriors fell in overtime and didn't get much going in their second game behind the Spears it goes again but this time the Warriors are able to clear that's the third time that's happened this game the first two resulted in goals but the Warriors defenders able to get there and knock that one off the goal line a bouncing puck Behind the net it goes, and Spearns will just cover that up to the side of his net. Face-off controlled by the Ravens. McKenzie back the line. They caught a, a stick of geezer. Caught a deflection. Spearns with another save. He's now up to 40 on the night. 43 shots against. 17 shots for the Warriors. But the only thing that matters is the goals up there on the board. Novak down the right side. He'll spin and dish that one off for geezer. Novak back out in front. That's whiffed on it. High shot taken. Spearns catches a piece of it, and that'll clear the zone. A breather here for Halifax West. That pass goes behind Novak, but he takes a takes the friendly hop. Backhand feed was intended for Rector in the slot area. There's Rector down low. We're going to go in the slot. Went off a couple sticks and skates. That gets dumped off the far boards. Arm is up for icing, and they will blow it dead as... Brady McKenzie kind of let off the gas a lot there, so friendly call for Riverview as the faceoff will come back to the right of Mitchell Spoons. The puck takes a high hop just at the Warriors blue line settled down. Here's Lorden with it, being watched closely by Sampson. Sends it off the glass into the neutral zone and unable to knock it down was, or settle it down was Gavin Clark. 3.33 to go in the third period, knotted up at three apiece. Shots are 30, no, just kidding. 44-17 in favor of Riverview. Here they come in, three on two down the far side. Shot misses just wide all the way around the boards it goes. Daniel Barr with it now. Across the line as the Ravens are making a change on the back end. His high shot is stopped by McDonald. Back at the line, another shot taken, redirected up into the netting off the stick of McDonald. That was Gavin Clark sending that one on goal. 3.06 to go in the third period. If we need overtime, it'll be four on four for five minutes. If no one scores, we'll go to three on three for five minutes. And if no one scores, we'll go to a shootout. It's a three-round shootout. That gets sent in on goal off the skates of his own man, Warner. Took the bar shot off the skate in the corner. Here come the Ravens trying to make a move down the far side. It was Brennan Moore. Leahy didn't have the puck reach him, so has to stop up. Far side dumped in by Jamison Ford. Around it goes. Overskated by LeBlanc for a moment. Battle for it on the half wall. Three Ravens players in there. Comes loose and into some skates it goes. Warriors pick it up. Spinning shot. Settled down. This time by Hustons who can't get it off. In the neutral zone. McDonald trying to skate through. He'll come back into his own end and pass some fresh legs off the bench. That was Rector. Far side now Thomas Hart. Trying to work his way around Rector and recepts that. He's got one man with him, a two on two. Rector cutting to the middle. Now he'll dish it off. Backhand shot trying to go over Spears. Rebound comes loose. They score! With just a few minutes to go, it looks like it's going to be Gahan Rector second of the game. And the Ravens have a 4 3 lead with exactly two minutes to go. So 
though. What a back and forth seesaw game we've seen. No, t Neither team is led by two goals, but it's Gahan Rector, his second of the game, his fourth of the tournament, and exactly two minutes left to go. Shots 47-19 in favor of Riverview. Stanwick off the far boards. Settled down and dumped in by Neves. Stanwick, first two at 138 to go. That goes high off the glass. Was awfully close and takes a friendly bounce here. Empty net for the Warriors and sent in by Josh Novak. An empty net goal and that'll ice it here. It's 5-3 Riverview with a one and a half to go. Josh Novak's first of the tournament. Team leads by two now. I mean, I guess I should eat my words here. There's still a minute and a half left. It's certainly possible, but this Ravens team has been very good so far tonight. And the Warriors severely down in the shot department, almost by 30 now, 48-19. Ronald dumps it in all the way around the boards as Spearns. Stanwick and Fogarty with the assists on the Novak goal. Empty netter. Burke trying to carry it through. Intercepted by the Warriors as we're into the final minute of play here in period number three. That gets out in front and a nice toe stop by Ryan McDonald. He hasn't made any flashy saves tonight. He hasn't had to, but gets one there. From in tight and the Warriors just a couple inches away. They'll force a turnover. Bonnell to the far side, back over here, just out of the reach of Burke. And his late, he tried to feed it back to the near side. Here comes Gavin Clark. Got two goals on the tournament. Could use a big one here, but just 20 seconds left to go. Looks like it's likely over here as Ravens will poke that out of their own zone. Carrying it back in his knees across the line. Maybe a chance for a couple late shots here as that goes off a stick into the far boards. Everyone settles down and the clock will run out here on the third period. And with the buzzer sounding, the Riverview Ravens with a 5-3 win over the Halifax West Warriors and Riverview has locked up the number one seed in Group B. They will move to 3-0 oh and 0. Oh, and the Halifax West Warriors will fall to 0-3 oh on the tournament. We'll see Riverview in the semifinals, but that'll do it here at this one. Next game upcoming, the CPA Cheetahs and the Horton Griffins battling for the final spot in the semifinals. Thanks for joining us here on the live Hi, Button Sports live stream. My name is Troy Langstaff. We hope you join us for the final few games of the tournament. But if not, have a great weekend or final few hours of the weekend. Enjoy.